This is the Pal Talk News Network. The views expressed are solely those of the speaker and not necessarily those of PalTalk.com, AVM Software, or its advertisers. News Talk is online. News Talk Online is a production of PalTalk.com, the largest multimedia interactive program on the Internet with more than 4 million unique users on demand on iTunes and on YouTube and on my blog, GaryBaumgarten.com, where you're encouraged to post your comments, whether you agree with yours truly or not. No restitution or retribution or restitution, either. And uh, thanks to our good friends at CRN Digital Talk Radio. We're syndicated to an additional 12 million households. I am your host, Gary Baumgarten. I welcome you to the show. Boy, I'm having trouble finding the right words today. The words got in the way as the song goes. I will tell you that. I won't sing it because I don't want to lose my dear audience since I am tone deaf. Uh, Welcome to the show. What a mess in Pakistan and Afghanistan very much intertwined. Uh, Our own uh, Jerry Adamak has been doing a great job uh, giving us the history. Uh, The first three uh, segments have been posted thus far at paltalknewsnetwork.com, the whole history of the mess in Afghanistan and uh, the relationship between Afghanistan and Pakistan and a border that really only appears pretty much on a map Uh, in that area between the two countries, Uh, and his uh, fourth installment will be published tomorrow, Uh, but uh, the first three are there already. Um, Every tick of the clock seems to bring a new lead to the story there. Now there's uh, concern that as the Pakistani army goes against the Taliban, Uh, that it is creating a monumental humanitarian crisis as civilians flee the area and become, of course, refugees. We have the uh, president of Afghanistan, whose legitimacy has come into question under intense pressure from the United States and others, finally agreeing today to accept uh, uh, the uh, results of the uh, commission that was investigating the uh, voter count and and agreed to um, a runoff election with uh, the guy who came in second on November the 7th, which uh, gives, I guess, the United States a continued mandate in Afghanistan because if uh, there is a legitimate election, and that's a big if, I guess the president can justify being there. Otherwise, in my opinion, Uh, We're propping up uh, a regime that has about as much legitimacy as that in Iran uh, because that was obviously a questionable election there as well, and I don't particularly see the difference between the two. And then we have this whole issue of mission creep. This president, of course, inherited the war in Afghanistan, but now he has to figure out what to do with it. There are those who say withdraw. There are those who say, like uh, his vice president, Uh, Let's forget about the Taliban and just concentrate on those Al-Qaeda fellers who uh, attacked us on September the 11th, 2001. And then you have uh, General Stanley McChrystal saying, I need 40,000 more troops. And boy, that 40,000 is far less than the number that the Red Army had at its peak in Afghanistan. And they had their tails handed to them. And I don't really know what the answer is. And I'm not even sure what the mission is any longer and whether we ought to be there at all. Joining us to help us sort all that out are two preeminent experts on foreign policy. Con Hallinan is an analyst for the Foreign Policy in Focus, a columnist for the Berkeley Daily Planet, formerly ran the J School journalism program at the University of California at Santa Cruz for over two decades and was a college provost. He retired in 2004 to concentrate on writing about foreign policy and uh, was rewarded In 2007, the Project Censored Award for Investigative Journalism and Patricia, and I'm told you like to be called Tricia DiGiarno, 
an adjunct assistant professor at uh, NYU's Center for Global Affairs, where she teaches courses on U.S. foreign policy, international military intervention, civil military affairs, national security policy, and the war on terrorism. Uh, Tricia and Khan, welcome to News Talk Online on the Pal Talk News Network. Thanks for having us. Thank you. Glad to have you both uh, with us. Uh, so, um, why are we in Afghanistan, uh, Khan Hallinan? Do we really even know? Does the president even know what the mission is, for that matter? Well, there's several levels of this. Um, you know, the original idea was that they were going to go after Al Qaeda, and uh, and they were going to overthrow the Taliban because the Taliban had allowed Al Qaeda to operate from. Um, from Afghanistan, even though it was not really the Al Qaeda in Afghanistan that launched the 9/11 attacks, that that happened in Germany and, and South Florida, for that matter, Miami. Um, I think that there are a number of reasons why they're there that people are not talking about. Uh, I think that this is the first out of area deployment for the North Atlantic Treaty Organization, and there are a lot of people around NATO that would like to see NATO become a, a worldwide um, military alliance. Uh, James Jones, who's the current National Security Advisor and was former U.S. commander uh, of NATO, um, very uh, talked about uh, extending uh, NATO to, um, to West Africa. Um, one of the things he, he examined was whether or not NATO could guarantee oil shipments out of the Gulf of Guinea. Uh, and they even had some war games that they practiced in um, uh, in the Cape Verde Islands to sort of um, do a scenario based around that kind of thing. So I think that there's a there's a fear that a withdrawal will um, damage NATO, uh, and uh, and it w and it will begin to raise the question of whether uh, the alliance really has any any role in the world today. So so I think that there's that going and then i think also you know this is central asia and um if you if you look at uh, where it is and what it connects to uh, it's still an enormously strategic area it's not that afghanistan has a great deal of wealth um but that it it connects to south asia it connects to the middle east it connects to china it connects to the caspian and the the scramble for control of um energy resources in the in Central Asia is a very real one, and you know it's not like we're we're at war in order to give uh, Chevron the inside track. That's not what it's about. It's about control of strategic energy resources, and and that's certainly one of the of the you know the, the pieces um, on the board here. Now there are lots of other uh, issues as well, but I think those are two very serious ones, and they're ones that don't get um, talked about very much. And uh, uh, Tricia, did I mispronounce your last name? Is it De Janeiro rather than? Yep, that's exactly right, De Janeiro. Yeah, Very good. Yeah, De Janeiro. Yeah. Well, I it was actually. I'm close uh, to Alan, that, that 